Over recent years, there's been increased reliance on imported protein, both in the UK and in Europe in general. Much of the protein for animal forage is from North and South America in the form of soya. European Union funded projects, Legumes Translated, aim to address some of these issues by considering more homegrown protein. With some additional funding from the University's Innovation Fund, demonstration plots were set up both at the Barony Campus in Dunfries in the southwest of Scotland, uh, and these complemented plots that were being grown in Aberdeen in the northeast of Scotland. Demonstration plots at the Barony included lupins, lupins and barley as a mixture, peas, peas and barley as a mixture, red clover, a red clover mix, crimson clover, and these were all compared against a perennial rye grass white clover mix that it was felt that farmers would have more uh, knowledge of as this is generally grown on farms as pasture and as silage in the southwest of Scotland. Just prior to the harvest of the demonstration plots, a workshop was organised that involved members of the farming community who were interested in growing more protein on farm, along with consultants, agronomists and other interested people from industry, including seed merchants. Uh, they were shown the plots and a discussion ensued on how easy or difficult it would be to grow these at large scale on farm. After the workshop, the plots were harvested on the 20th of August. Uh, they were cut, weighed and a subsample taken for fresh analysis. Material was left to wilt for 24 hours, then sampled and ensiled. They were ensiled using three litre tubs with an airtight screw top. After five and a half weeks, these tubs were opened and uh, ensiling had occurred and samples were taken for analysis. The dry matter results from the fresh samples taken at harvest showed that the peas and barley and the lupins and barley gave the greater dry matter in comparison to the clovers and the grass clover mix. The crude protein analysis of the silage showed that the lupins were very similar uh, to the clovers and the grass clovers with the peas, peas and barley, lupins and barley not doing quite as well. This is to be expected with the peas and barley and lupins and barley because of the contribution towards the barley in the analysis. This work will continue over the next few years looking at the types and species that can be grown on farm to produce more protein and also why farmers aren't uh, keen to take up growing more pre protein on farm and what they would need to encourage them to do this in future.